You heard what 75% of Christians are not going to the polls, Sean. They're going to opt out because they can't bring Crazy. themselves to vote for mean Trump. Here's the deal. This is causing yeah. panic right now because the only solution for political concussion is spiritual awakening. And Christians are now mobilizing to the polls because you know what's mean? The sexualization of children and the platform on the left that pushes that. You know what's mean and well, obnoxious? It's... The absolute murder of babies in the womb without limitation um, for nine months. Oh. And you know what's awful and oh. offensive? An open border that doesn't let anybody um, feel safe and protected in our nation. I mean, they, they support no restrictions on abortion, even late-term abortion, gender-affirming mm -hmm. care in California and Minnesota for minors without parental consent. Mm -hmm. uh, she flat out lied last night saying that Donald Trump will support a national abortion ban. He has said just the opposite repeatedly, that he would limit mm -hmm. access to birth control, an absolute lie, and that he doesn't support IVF treatment, uh, another outright lie. I mean, that's, that was another part of her closing argument last night. And women hear that? Do they believe that? No, I don't think they do. I think the lies are clear and they're worried about it. I do believe that there needs to be a prayerful um, push of voters of faith. Um, and this is why the platform um, that you could be voting for by not voting at all actually will promote evil. And this is spiritual warfare, Sean. It says in scripture, um, be careful how you live, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. And that whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin and it grieves God. So don't, I would just, I'd actually go as far as saying, I'll pray and beg um, fellow Christians and those of faith to step into this election, not step out of it. It is our uh, responsibility. Um, if we have a heart, though we may be mentally, politically con concussed from what we're hearing from that table of the view, thankfully we have voices like yours. We need to step forward and act.